Larry, welcome back to the Rod Arquette Show on this uh, Tuesday. Final half hour for you, or with you. I was talking with a couple of people the other day, and we were talking about music. And uh, the question came up of, uh, we were, I think we were talking about the Eagles. The Eagles are about to go, or uh, maybe on the road already, uh, in concert. They aren't coming here, unfortunately, and I probably couldn't afford to go anyways because the Eagle, tickets to an Eagles concert are just unrealistic. But we were talking about their favorite Eagles song, and someone brought up Lion Eyes, which a lot of people do like that song. Well, there is a, a, a company here in Utah which has developed a new lie detector test using your lying eyes, so to speak. And joining us on our newsmaker line to talk about that right now is Todd Mickelson. He is president and CEO of Converis. Todd, how are you? And welcome to the show. Thanks for joining us. I'm well, Rod. Thanks for having me. Tell us about this new technology and what you're trying to do with it. Well, as you mentioned, it is um, a new type of lie detector, unlike a traditional polygraph that many of you have seen in the movies or on TV Mm -hmm. that measures Mm -hmm. things like heart rate, blood pressure, uh, whether you start to sweat, eye detect measures subtle changes in your eyes while you take a computer based test or while you answer computers that are or questions that are presented to you on a computer. What do the eyes tell us that maybe the traditional lie detector test can't do? So a traditional lie detector test is is just measuring whether there's an increase in heart rate or a change in blood pressure. Mm-hmm. We're measuring ch- uh, subtle changes that occur in the eyes when we lie. Those changes are invoked by an increase in cognitive load. Or in other words, you have to think hard you have to think harder to, to communicate a lie than to communicate the truth. And when you think harder, it has these involuntary effects on the eyes, such as uh, pupil dilation. So the, the eyes dilate when you're answering a question that you're lying to versus uh, answering a question that you're telling the truth to. How did you find out this research, uh, Todd, that you have to think harder when you lie? <laughs> I find that fascinating. <laughs> Yeah, so it comes actually out of the University of Utah. Um, Dr. John Kircher and Dr. David Raskin, two of the foremost experts in lie detection, they're actually credited with creating the first computerized polygraph in the 90s. In 2002, they started exploring this concept of using the eyes to detect deception. And what they found is um, you, you exert more cognitive load, more brain power, if you will, Uh, when you're lying than when you're telling the truth, and uh, that exertion of brain power or increase in cognitive load causes the eyes to dilate. It causes some other things like a change in your blink rate and where you look on the screen when you're answering questions, but um, they're all involuntary responses that are invoked by an increase in cognitive load. So how exactly does it work, Todd? Because we all have that scene that we've seen in movies or on TV where someone's sitting at a table and they're hooked up to a lie detector and people are asking them questions. How does eye detect work exactly? Yeah, so the beauty is you don't get hooked up to anything. It's uh, <laughs> non, non, non-intrusive, non-invasive. You sit down in front of a computer that has our software on it along with an eye tracker and the computer presents a set of questions to you, or rather a set of true-false statements, to which you simply click true or false to, to confirm or deny. And uh, while that's happening, the eye tracker is capturing uh, at 60 times per second these subtle changes in the eyes. Um, and at the conclusion of the questions being presented, the data that's captured by the eye tracker is submitted to a computer algorithm, and the com- computer algorithm generates a score that uh, looks at, you know, did your eyes respond or not? And it basically compares um, how your eyes are responding um, to the primary questions versus uh, how they respond in a baseline situation, in a situation mm-hmm. where we know you're not lying. We're talking right now with Todd Mickelson. Todd is the president and CEO of Converis. This is a company that has a Utah company that has developed new technology uh, using the eyes instead of the traditional lie detector test. Todd, has the judicial community or the law enforcement community had a chance to use this yet? Are they embracing it too early to tell? What's the feedback so far, Todd? They are. We have uh, over 50 law enforcement groups across the United States, uh, a handful in Utah that have adopted it for two scenarios. 
they're using it for pre-screening of potential hires or candidates where they want to verify if you have some things in your past that you haven't revealed that you're not being truthful about. And then they're also using it in um, investigations. So they're using it to help identify if someone is being truthful about a specific issue um, that would then help them you know, focus their efforts on, on, on where to dig deeper to find evidence and, and confirm whether that's true or not. Mm -hmm. And I understand the story that was on uh, Fox 13 last night. This is where we picked up the story that a judge in New Mexico, I believe, Todd, allowed some of that evidence in a, in a court hearing. Is that true? Explain that if you would. Yeah, that is true. So um, in New Mexico, we had a case with a sex offender, uh, a person who was accused of, of a sex uh, offense, mm -hmm. and um, he was both polygraphed and tested with eye detect. Both tests came back uh, negative, meaning uh, indicating that he was telling the truth, that he was not involved. And that court eventually, uh, that case eventually went to a district uh, level judge who looked at the science uh, behind eye detect and in the end accepted the science uh, or rather the results of the case as evidence in this case. Todd, who is more likely to use uh, this test? Would it be the prosecution or the defense? Um, currently, we have a fair number of defense attorneys that tend to use it more than the prosecution. Uh, they're using it to prove innocence. Um, in some cases, uh, they're using it to get the truth out of their potential clients. So before they take on a case, they'll say, you know, I want you to take this test to confirm that you're being truthful with me. And uh, if they fail, then they encourage them to confess and, and, and seek a plea bargain as opposed to mm -hmm. um, uh, pleading innocence. And yeah. uh, if, if they pass, then they, they, they attempt to use it as evidence. Final question for you, Todd. Do you think eye detect is better than the current lie detector test? And if so, why? Well, it's um, it's on par in terms of accuracy um, mm -hmm. or better. Uh, uh, traditional polygraph is about 85% accurate in terms of identifying whether someone's lying or not. Uh, eye detect is 86 to 90% accurate, depending on the type of test you're running. And part of the reason uh, it's more accurate is the computer is giving the test as opposed to a human being. So you remove a bias. Uh, and then we use a computer algorithm to score the test or to analyze the data as opposed to a human being that would be analyzing the data, uh, mm. as is the case in a polygraph. Uh, interesting. Todd, thank you for your time. Good luck with this, uh, this new invention, a new program that you have, this new technology. Thank you for talking to us about it tonight. Thank you. No problem. Thank you. All right, on our Newsmaker line, that's Todd Mickelson, president and CEO of Converis. They've developed a new lie detector test, basically focusing on the lie, or on the eyes. It's not the, the you know, the old eagle story, song, lion eyes. Well, they can tell if you're lying, apparently, with this new technology. A Utah company. Love it. Fascinating. All right, more coming up on the Rod Arquette Show here on Utah's Talk Radio, 105.9 KNRS. Listen, and you'll know our final chance to talk with Dr. Enoch Cox, Director of Education here at My Hearing Centers. I know they have lie detector tests or eye detector tests. What kind of tests do they have to determine if you're going through hearing loss now? Yeah, we're not trying to catch people in a lie, <laughs> uh, but uh, we are trying to help change people's lives.